Okay. We'll do it about right here. No, I'm just going to do a regular temperament test right now. I know, buddy. Hold on. Let me get my gloves on. If he does bite, just remain calm. I know what to do. <laughs> okay. I'll just lift him straight up. Nope. I'm not going to be happy if he bites. Well, me neither. But, you know, at least we know. At least we know. I'm going to take my watch off. I've lost two watches this way. <laughs> Um, and he's a big dog, and sometimes, sometimes, you want to see his true temperament under stress, just like us. But we don't want to push him so far that we create something neither. But I got a feeling you're right, um, that the emotional traumatic event may have caused it, and we'll find out. Because other than that, he's actually a sweet-tempered dog, and he's, you know, very people-friendly. I don't talk too much to him when I do this because I don't want anything that I say to be associated with what I'm doing. What exactly are you doing? I'm just going to stress him out a little bit. Okay. You're not hurting him? Mm -hmm. Nope. I'm going to determine right now if he's dominant. Nope. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. No. you got to remember, growling is good. Because it's a warning. Because it's a warning. The dogs that don't growl that tells me is that the owner is disciplined him for growling, or the dog is extremely tense. So in a way, it's okay. Okay. So I'll do it again. Growling is telling him to stop it. Right. Yeah, I guess he's a Which is better than just biting you. Right. Right. No. So then I use my hat sometimes. I'm being a bully to him to see how he handles it. He's a little shy right now. All right, buddy. You're not going to like this part. This is just going to make him feel a little uncomfortable to see how he handles stress. Okay? I'm just going to grab him by the back of the skin and lift him up. Right here. That's not bad at all. All right, let me do his pain tolerance. This is where he said he doesn't like it, huh? No, no. But he's not putting any pressure on it. You know, it's the difference. I mean, yeah, he's biting, but he's not putting any pressure on it. I think he just needs some good training. Walk forward, look at him, and just keep walking. If he stops, uses his dead weight, just keep going. Relax on the lead. There we go. Perfect. Now turn the other way, the other way, the other way. There you go. Right there. Stop. Tell him to sit. Sit. Now tell him to down. Down. Now if he doesn't, I want you to just guide him down just a little bit. Here. Don't. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't dance with him. Down. Make him down. Very good. Don't praise him. Not yet. Okay. Here's why I don't want you to praise him right now. Because he wasn't trained in the past to where he is now, He's going to mistake your kindness for weakness in the beginning. Just like when you first meet somebody. So, what you want to do, right? <laughs> so, right from the beginning, you want to tell him you're not weak through praise. And then after he does it really good and he shows a pattern of behavior, then you start praising him. Because okay. that's when he's going to start testing you, but you know how to recover from it. Okay. Alright? So, walk right through him and walk straight. Keep going. Keep going. Very good. Don't let him get ahead of you. Good. Get, turn back around this way. Right there. Stop. Tell him to sit. Sit. And then tell him to down. Down. Try not to move. Don't let him use his body weight on you. Down. He's big. All right. I want you to jerk straight down, but not very hard. What? There we go. There we go. Does that feel good? He's using his body weight for security, but it's not a bad thing. Okay. His body language is still obeying. He likes to lose. So now we're going to go in that, in the bathroom, okay, to see how he does with you. 
Don't stop. If you if he stops when he goes in there, just keep going. Right now, yeah, there you go. There you go. Very good. Very good. Don't 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 hesitate. Don't give him time to think about what he's normally doing. He's going. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Right there. How's that feel? Wow. <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? His mouth's open, his heart rate didn't go up, which means he's fine with it. It's, he's talking to me through his body language that he's okay with it. Alright. Alright, walk him out very slow. He's still, he's still a little fast when he comes in there, but you know what? I'd much rather have him fast than have him slow and hesitate. Right. He's good, he's shaking it off. Go ahead, turn that way. So the signs that I'm looking for that lets me know that he's relieving stress is yawning, itching, licking, shaking, grooming. Right there, right there. Stop, tell him to sit. Sit. And then important to tell him to D-O-W-N. Down. Nice, calm voice like you did. Down. Down. Just, just push, push on the, no, push on the collar just a little bit, on the leash, yep. Yeah. Yeah, but this is stress related. This isn't the barter system with the treat anymore. <laughs> right. Okay? And, and, and that's why he was trying to set boundaries with you guys. Right. It's because you were using the barter system. Well, if you use the barter system, of course he's going to take advantage of you. Yeah. But now you have, a, you have a nylon choke chain, not the metal one. Right. You have a nylon one that doesn't let him know that a correction's coming, so he has to follow. And I've already been through the storm with him protesting. And you're not yelling. Very good. Should he try it? You can, you can. You want to try it more?